blessed day. Welcome to Catholic Mysticism with Joran. And today we're gonna talk about why Catholic Mysticism with Joran and what is the purpose of the channel. So back then, when my senior high school years, I was a third order Carmelite and I was fascinated with the Carmelite spirituality. And I grew in love with the Carmelite spirituality. However, my love for Catholic mysticism developed when I was a third year AB Religious Values Education. So we have religious mysticism, a class on religious mysticism. And I question, what is Catholic mysticism? So we have also minors in philosophy focusing on the mystic philosophy that helped me to thirst for the truth and for knowledge. So I did some research and studies and that's how I fell in love more in Catholic mysticism. So what is the purpose of the channel? So we have two purposes. First is to spread knowledge on Catholic mysticism. Second is to help the faithful in their journey towards Catholic mysticism. So with that, in order for us to know about Catholic mysticism and to have an effective journey towards Catholic mysticism, we need to have knowledge. So I have these books that I'm gonna use. So I'm, I have so many books here, but it's the books that I want to highlight. So the work, the collected works of Saint Teresa of Avila. The Collected Works of Teresa of Avila. The Collected Works of Teresa of Avila. And my personal favorite that all lay faithful should have. The Mystical Theology Alignments Guide by Doom Savien Louis Smith OSB. I don't know how to pronounce because it's French. <laughs> so, this is a wonderful book, I tell you. It is. Uh, it contains all what we need in terms of mystical theology. So this is the volume 1 and I'm gonna teach this. So stay tuned and be alert. <laughs> so like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you could, you will be updated into our latest video. So here, so Mystical Theology Alayman's Guide Volume 1 and Mystical Theology Alayman's Guide Volume 2. Dark Knight of the Soul Ascent to Mount Carmel So why do we have why do we have why do we need why do we why do we need to have proper knowledge of Catholic mysticism and oh yeah let's start with that so why do we need to have proper knowledge in terms of Catholic mysticism so when we have proper knowledge or right knowledge on Catholic mysticism we can know the journey properly. We have we uh there's there's a path. We know the path into towards Catholic mysticism. So we will not be lost in terms of journeying or navigating Catholic mysticism. Because there's a danger in Catholic mysticism, especially when we're dwelling with the supernatural. Okay? In private revelation, visions, extraordinary grace, and many more mystical phenomena so there's a danger there and the danger there is what will you believe even in private revelations we must be careful of what we believe because what we believe can lead us to salvation or damnation so that is so that's why so it's so important that we learn from all this uh from the wisdom of the great saints and great holy people especially john the cross john the cross is a mystical doctor and i have learned a lot from him especially in terms of miss of of reading or understanding private revelations and one thing that i learned is never ask for private revelation or vision toward uh in terms of god that's 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 a sign of lacking of spiritual humility and St. Teresa of Avila said that we should not ask for extraordinary grace like gift of tongue, gift of healing, gift of vision, and so on and so forth but because that's a sign of spiritual pride. And all of this we're going to study one by one. So stay tuned and again, <laughs> please do like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And help me to help, oh yeah, help me to spread the, spread Catholic mysticism 
and I I will do my best to study also to how to improve my videos. And thank you for watching and God bless you.